Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Chasing the Illusion. In today's video I'm going to be doing another tutorial and this is a, this is a strange kind of tutorial because um, there's a lot of different techniques and a lot of different magic things um, going to be crammed into this video um, all to do with colour changes. And the reason why it's weird is because, well, not only is there going to be loads crammed into the video, uh, but I don't actually often perform this unless I'm just trying to show off some sleight of hand. And before we get into the video, I would like to say, once I teach you this colour change flourish tutorial sort of thing that I've created, um, I would say don't go out and perform it straight away. Um, like if someone asks you to do a magic trick, don't do this routine. Um, just kind of just do it as a fun little um, look what I can do, show off the thing. Um, because I, I, I generally hate what, uh, what this is all about. Um, when people say, can you do this, can you do that kind of thing, this is when I do the, the colour changes. I don't often do colour changes. Um, it's just not me, it's not the kind of uh, magic vibe that I go for. So when people ask me to do certain things, or when people say, like, are you like the classic magician, which I'm not, like, are you do, can you do like classic magician -y things, that's when I pull off this uh, card change routine because if you saw it in the uh, in the intro you can see that it's very flourishy it's very color changey uh, you've probably recognized some of the the uh, techniques used in the uh, in the in the flourish um, so you know it's it's very not me but I thought hey I'll, I'll teach you I'll teach you it because it's a uh, there's a lot into, that goes into it so I'm also going to go into a little bit more detail on some other alternatives over on CTIS after this video um, so if you haven't joined uh, go and join CTISS it's completely free you get behind the scenes videos you get all the do's and don'ts after the videos and stuff like that um, and like I said it's completely free so you might as well join at the moment, I've just said over on CTISS that uh, this month is my favorite month, it's October, Halloween, and I've got some great content and a magic trick that I've always wanted to teach on YouTube coming your way. Um, not just for CTISS, but for the public domain. Um, so I'll be teaching one of my favorite Halloween-y tricks uh, in the next couple of weeks, probably around Halloween itself. And before we get into the video, the cards that I'll be using today are the Skull and Dagger playing cards by Svengali Co. Svengali Co. Yeah, Skull and Dagger crossbones. Well, be great. I'll be using those cards. These are some great cards. I mentioned them earlier in my um, uh, playing card collection video. And um, like I said, I haven't in that video, I haven't done a video with these deck, this deck of cards yet. So I thought, why not? Why not do a tutorial with this deck of cards? But without any further ado, let's get on with the video. All right, so to start this trick off, what you'll need is two contrasting cards. Two contrasting cards basically mean two of the cards that are different colors. So one black, one red, usually one quite minimalistic and one quite uh, elaborate as well. For this video, I'm gonna be using the Ace of Spades and the Queen of Hearts, two of my favorite cards as well. Um, again, obviously, if you're doing this routine from a completely shuffled deck, you won't be able to choose which the cards are, but if you can get away with it, try to use two different contrasting cards. Now, for the first bit, what you need to do is load them to the top of the deck. And uh, the first trick that you'll be needing to do is something called a wheel change. Now, the wheel change I first was introduced by Daniel Madison's video, um, the wheel change video that he done. Um, for the rest of this uh, video, I'm going to be leaving um, video description in the video description. I'm going to be leaving videos um, to in-depth tutorials on how to do all of the changes in this one. So basically, use my video as the routiner and use their videos for uh, the in-depth tutorials. I'm just gonna go through quick ones, uh, quick tutorials on how to do it. Um, so first of all, you need to do the wheel change. So for that, you need to get a double lift on the two cards. Um, make sure that you do not show the audience what this card is. Uh, we'll get to the reason why in a moment. 
then you just riffle down the cards with your thumb and put the card in there again making sure the audience don't see what this card is because you're basically going to move the card behind it which in this case is the queen of hearts um, to the front and you're going to push the rest of the deck up to make sure that it covers the ace of spades to show the queen of hearts this is where the change now comes in because you're now going to move in the motion of moving your hand up like this you're going to square up the deck and with your middle finger move the ace of spades up in line with the queen of hearts it's hard to do uh, slowly then with your middle finger on the upper left side and your other uh, middle finger on this side you're then going to do the rotation making sure that the two cards stay close together uh, so it looks like all one card and also um, for the next bit of the trick which is going to be the snap change now the snap change is one of the tricks that most magicians learn straight away so again I'm not going to go into that much detail but essentially the snap change is called the snap change because you are snapping the cards like so just like that so the front card is changing into the back card and if you do it quick enough it will look like this if I get ready boom it looks like that um, to make it a little more naturally and uh, believable I like to do a little wave as well so you're waving like this and then it changes just like that again essentially all that you're doing is just snapping your fingers like this like this making sure that the front card passes it and from this angle you can't see yeah you can't see what the card is at the back then with the deck in your hand you literally just drop it to the uh, the card hiding behind the main card you drop it drop it to the rest of the deck ready to do the next part of the routine then i like to do a, a back palm flourish um, so you're here you do a back palm flourish like so um, actually no you're not here one second so you do the snap change like this you drop the card there then you do the back palm flourish there we go you do the back palm flourish here into a tenkai palm uh, I want to go into detail on what a tenkai palm is in a later video I'm going to want to teach it uh, but for now a tenkai palm is essentially what you do to palm the card to make it look like it's disappeared and for that what you do is uh, you make sure the card is lodged between your thumb and your, uh, your, your, your palm of your hand here. And from certain angles, you can't see it like this. Um, you can easily get into that position as well with these two fingers like this. And what I like to do in this routine is look like I'm about to throw it onto the deck when really I'm about to tenkai palm it to here. And, uh, it look, and then I point to the deck and show them that it hasn't gone to the top, but the other cards that's in the routine has. Um, from here you do the most simplest move so you've done the snap change you've gone and done so you've done the snap change then you ah you've done the snap change then you ah you know what you know what let's go from the top i'm confusing myself snap change drop into a back palm then you do the tenkai turn it ah, turn the card over and you do the simplest move of just literally putting the card that's in the tenkai on top of the other card and do a little spin. So from the top it looks like this. Double lift into the prep for the wheel change, make sure they don't see what the card is, show them the ace of spades, move it up, turn it over using your middle fingers into a waving snap change, drop the card there, do a back palm into a tenkai, point to the card, turn it over, drop the card on top. Now from here, you do another move which most magicians know how to do very early on, and that is an Erdenage change. And for that, you literally just go like this. You push the card up like this, and with your palm, you're hiding the card underneath it. Then with the back, back of your palm, you then, see if we can get it right here, you push the card back like this until it passes the front card like this, and then you just push the cards up together, squaring it all up into the ace of space, uh, queen of hearts sorry so again real quick you go like this move it up back of the palm pushes the card until it's past it move it on top of the deck so essentially you're just swapping the cards over um, so yeah that is literally all that you're doing in speed goes like this in like that into this turnover do that move a little bit more slowly makes it look a little bit better as well then from here you do a double lift um, so it looks like you're just picking up the Queen of Hearts, but in reality, you are picking both up the Ace of Spades and the Queen of Hearts. 
and then you're just putting on stuff with the deck. Because of this, you're now going to be putting, uh, you're going to take the top card off, which is the Ace of Spades, but the audience will think it's the Queen of Hearts, into the middle of the deck, ready to do a move that I can't remember the name of, but I'll put it on the screen for you guys now. Um, so, and that move is basically, um, you click your fingers now and you make, make it look like the card that you've just put from the top of the deck. So you've, it looks like you've just put the Queen of Hearts on top of the deck and you're gonna put the Queen of Hearts in the middle of the deck. You get the audience to click your fingers or you click your fingers and it looks like it's the Ace of Spades now. Then you do the move that I can't remember the name of and you push it in like this. I don't know how well that looks. You push it in like this again. It just puts the uh, the card to the top of the deck ready for the rest of the routine. So you push it in like so. You click your fingers or you get the audience to click your fingers. You move the cards up to show them that it's changed. In that motion, you then swap over the cards like this, moving the cards up like this. And then it looks like that card hasn't even changed. The Ace of Spades hasn't changed, it's still there. Then you either take it out or you do a little flourishy move to take it out, showing you that the card has completely changed into a different, completely different card. When in reality, the top two cards that you've been doing the whole time are still on top of the deck. Then you turn over just one, just one of the cards. Turn over just one of the cards like this. And then the guys of you put in the seven of spades or whatever the card is that you've just flicked out into the deck, you then get another double lift. Ready to do what another really simple change is, is then this change here. And it turns like this. Again, another one that everyone knows. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's just like the swell change or something like that. So you get in position here, middle finger on top, thumb here and then with your index finger you change the card like this but it's the little action covering the small action so or it's the big action covering the small action sorry so you're like this and then the moment of you moving your hands you spin the cards like that and all together all in all it looks like this boom simple as that now from the top let's go from the top again i'll leave uh, a better description in the uh the, the description down below the description of all the tricks down below so you get the double lift thumb riffle down into the wheel change show them the queen of hearts put them all together do the rotation getting ready to do a snap change with the wave drop the hidden card onto the rest of the deck do a backwards palm into a tenkai looking like you're going to throw it to the top of the deck turn the card over showing it's a completely different card the ace of spades drop the queen of hearts on top do a little twirl then do the urdanese move like so covering it up like this then you get a double lift again putting the ace of spades and the queen of hearts on top moving the queen of hearts <coughs> into the middle of the deck. Get your audience to click your fingers or click your fingers yourself. Show them that it's changing to Queen of Hearts. Then do the move that I can't remember the name of. Pushing the card there to a flourish or take the card out, whatever you want to do. Showing them that it's a completely different card. But it has now turned to the top, the Queen of Hearts. Then in the guise of putting the card back in the middle, you get that last double lift into the move like so then put the cards on top showing that it's now just the ace of spades on their own. Maybe do a, uh, a one-handed cut as well just to lose the queen of hearts into the deck. And that essentially is my card changing flourish. So I hope you did enjoy this video. I do apologize if it was a little bit rushed. If I'm completely honest with you, I filmed this video about five times. My camera just kept dying. Uh, running out of storage or the stand will just fall over so towards the end of the actual video that you're actually going to see um, I was kind of just at my end of my tether like oh, I just want to get this video over and done with now so many apologies for that but I am still going to be doing a CTI SS video showing you a little bit um, of difference between uh, what the cards are and um, and yeah, like what, what the cards are, how to make it a little bit better. Uh, again, it's completely for free, so check it out. Uh, but that is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you check out my Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and all that, you know. And of course, check out CTISS. How many more times have I mentioned that? How many more times have I plugged that video? I don't know. But that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you 
whenever. Uh, I've got this, like I said at the beginning of this video, this month is gonna be a really good month for uploads and I just can't wait to share it all with you. So enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you later. Goodbye.